Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise IQ manager 6 as part of the Ottawa, Ottawa Senators. So right off the bat I will apologize because my neighbor is doing some work outside and I believe that my microphone is picking up a little bit of uh, the stuff that he's doing. I don't think it's going to be too terrible, especially if I can manage to talk almost the entire time. Uh, but if you hear some noise in the background, that's probably where it's coming from. So I'm going to apologize for that. I have waited as long as I could for him to be done, but... My neighbor uh, owns a landscaping business, so doing stuff outside is what he does. So, all right. Now, a little bit more relevant to what we do here. Um, so, I was still not very happy with how Alain Vigneault is handling my goaltenders. So, I tried to fire him. And I was vetoed by Eugene Melnick, who doesn't believe that there's a reason to fire Vigneault. And, I mean, if you look at it, uh, technically Vigneault is starting a two-star goaltender, on, you know, before a five-star goaltender in Ryan Miller. And should I add uh, Ryan Miller that, you know, lost only three regulation games last season, won the Vizina and the Stanley Cup? So doesn't make much sense. So now short of either trading Elliot or burying him in the minors and calling in Jeff Glass, who is an alpha star goaltender, hoping that at that point he would Vigneault would realize that Miller is the guy to start. I'm gonna need to go with it. Uh, if this is I mean Vigneault's last contract here so if he doesn't correct that uh, I will correct it for him and I will not renew him uh, that's pretty much all I can do I try to fire him and I can't do that so next best thing is to not renew him so a little bit silly of a head coach to start doing weird stuff on the last year of his contract but it is what it is I guess so bearing an injury to Brian Elliott or me doing something crazy like you know calling in an alpha star goaltender. I guess I could maybe trade him, uh, but I don't want to. So <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll have to deal with it. I'll have to stop being upset about it. All right, so we are about to start November and we are playing our first game in November in three days and it's going to be against the Carolina Hurricanes. So let's go ahead and move on here a little bit see what happens Eugene Melnick is very happy with my work despite going 6-4 and 1 so I guess we're riding the happiness of the all those Stanley Cups so then there's been a trade between Toronto and Minnesota alright so Brad Lukowicz and Jay Harrison are going to the wild for Nicholas Hagman and Patrick Lalim. Oh, Patrick Lalim. Since fans should be very familiar with him. So he's 32 in my universe right now. He's a one-star goaltender, so he's declining. Lalim was a pretty good goaltender, but sadly he will always be remembered for, I guess, allowing a couple bad goals in the playoffs and they were very costly for for the Suns so I guess sometimes that's how it goes in the world of sports All right, so Richard Park is available I'm not gonna pick him up uh, St. Louis uh, Sergei Zinoviev is not suspended so still in the lineup over there Alright, bunch of scouting reports. Uh, David Ling and Josh Langfeld are available on waivers. They are also a little pricey for who they are. Suspension over for Sean Orkoff in Edmonton. He is back in the lineup. Alex Ovechkin extends his goal streak to five games with two goals against Atlanta. Mm 
All right, we are about to play the Hurricanes, like I said at the start of the video here. So we are hosting them, and then we're going to go on the road for quite a few games there. So let's take a look at the Hurricanes lineup. Uh, we have not played them so far this year. They are 6-6-2. Six, six, and two. So no injuries over there. And we... Uh, I believe we did play them in the preseason too. Uh, I remember looking at it and saying that uh, they had moved on from Sean Burke. So yeah, it's still that uh, pretty thin D. Uh, past Chris Pronger, there's not a whole lot in there. And decent corps of forward, Dimitri Adams, Lad Sanderson, Castles. Yeah, Castles is getting a little older. Eric Stahl, Michael Nylander, Stecco, Francis Lemieux, Dvorak, Hynote, Kevin and Ziegler. So... Alright. So, Brian Elliott in net so for the Suns. Steve Veliket in net for Carolina. And we lost in overtime. one nothing. I'm not sure I can... Blame that one on Brian Elliott. Um, oh, actually, it w it ended in the shootout, so that that's not Brian Elliott's fault, Ray. <laughs> we did outshoot Carolina fifty-one to seven, and we lost. <laughs> oh, life! All right, so Steve Veliket is the first star of the game, obviously, with his 51 saves. And the shutout, Jason Spezza is the second star. Obviously, no point. Chris Pronger is the third star. And obviously, no point as well. 17,931 people came to see that boar fest at the arena. No goals were scored until the shootout. So really not a whole lot to say except that uh, the game-winning goal in the shootout was scored by Radek Dvorak. Uh, Jason Pumminville extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal and an assist against Toronto. Memorable game for Scott Hartnell who had a hat-trick against the Wild. Pretty good. Ovechkin extends his goal streak to six games. Two goals and an assist against Philadelphia. Mike Camilleri extends his goal streak to five games. He had two goals against Phoenix. Sidney Crosby extends his assist streak to eight games with a goal and two assists against San Jose. Right, and we are about uh, to start that uh, four-game road trip, uh, and it starts in Washington against the Capitals. So the Capitals are doing pretty good. They are nine and four. That's good for fourth in the East. <coughs> we. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so we have not played the Capitals this year. Uh, Ryan Whitney is hurt, so he's not going to be playing. And uh, they still have Olaf Kozig in net, and now they have Tukarask as well that uh, they traded Gonchar to Toronto to get. So Tukarask is starting to get into his own. He's nine, only 19, but he's a two and a half star goaltender, so that's good enough to start. Uh, and then on D they have Marty Yarventi, Nathan Page, Craig Millar, Mike Green, Sean Hill, and Per Gustav. So yeah, that D is terrible. Uh, Andrew Brunet, Matt Ellis, Matt Pettinger, Alex Ovechkin, Vili Niminen, Backstrom Gordon, Metropolit, Rasmussen, Sutterby, Bernie Bork, Bundra, Simon, and Alpern. So there's a few O's in that team. Let's see if we can beat them, though. Brian Elliott in net for the Suns. Tuka Rask in net for the Capitals. And we won in overtime, 2-1. to one. 
So we're struggling to score goals, and that part shouldn't be Brian Elliott's fault. So maybe that we are struggling with the overall structure, lineup uh, that we have available to us, and that falls on the coach. So Alain Vigneault is more than likely not getting renewed at the end of this season. All right, so we did outshoot Washington 47 to 14. Tuka Rask was the first star of the game. Despite the loss, he made 40, 45 saves. Alex Ovechkin was the second star with an assist, and Joe Thornton was the third star with a goal and an assist. So in the first period, Joe Thornton scored from Pavel Datsyuk and Jason Spezza, and it was 1-0 Sands at that point. Then... Um, Washington tied the game in the second period, and it was tied at one. Nobody scored in the third, and it went in overtime, where Mark Streit scored, assisted by Mariano and Joe Thornton, and that was how it ended. Two to one, so that one did not go to the shootout. Yarmir Jagger extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against Anaheim. Sidney Crosby ex extends his assist streak to nine games with a goal and an assist in that same game. No additional missed time for New York Islanders' Vili Pelton, not suspended. There was no stopping Robert Nilsson in that same game. He had a hat trick, and that was against Tampa Bay. Jeff Carter extends his goal streak to five games uh, with a goal against Toronto. <clears throat> Next game is tomorrow in Atlanta. Uh, Sean Thornton is back from suspension in Calgary. And we are about to play the Trashers. Uh, again, we have not played them this year. Trashers are pretty good. They are 10-5-2. That's good for first in the East. Let's see if we have a chance to beat them. Right, they do have an injury, so Dan Boyle is not going to be playing that game. He is hurt with foot soreness. Uh, Peter Budai and Kerry Lettonen in that, so that's pretty good. At this point of their careers, it is. They are still pretty young. Uh, Toby Enstrom, Dennis Seidenberg, Todd Reardon, Braden Coburn, Jeff Gilson, Jim Fay. On D, uh, there's a couple decent D there. There's a couple not so great D as well. Uh, Corso Kovalchuk, Marcus Neslin, Jimmy Halvestad, Sammy Kapanen, John Sim, Derek Armstrong, Dominic Moore, Perz Vardvadit, Patrick Stefan, Patrick Dwyer, <coughs> Chris Clark, Yeri Lettinen, and Antunen. Let's see if we can beat them. Alright, so we're, we are going to Ryan Miller in net for this game, and Kerry Lettonen is going to be in net for Atlanta. And we won 5 0. See, we need to have Ryan Miller in net. That's what happens when you have the best goaltender in the organization in net for the game. We outshot Atlanta 35 to 24. Jason Spezza was the first star, he had three assists. Mark Streit was the second star with two goals, and Zdeno Shara, third star with two goals as well. So. Our offense was carried a lot by our defensemen in that game. So Mark Streit opened up the scoring in the first period on the power play from Jason Spezza and Alexei Yashin, and then Mike Fisher from Daniel Alfredson. Then in the second period, Shara scored from Spezza and Joe Thornton. And then in the third period, Streit on the power play from Thornton and Datsyuk, and finally Shara from Datsyuk and Jason Spezza. 5 nothing was the final score. This one feels good. We have the right goaltender in net. Oh, Ottawa, Ottawa's Chris Neal is suspended. This game is broken. Chris Neal was never suspended in his career. He's going to miss a game. All right, so he's going to miss the matchup against uh, who is next? Against Pittsburgh. So he's not going to be able to get into Malkin's face. So if you're not a Sense fan, you might not know that. Uh, but for whatever reason, so so if you <coughs> if you know a little bit about Aki, you probably know that Yevgeny Malkin kind of has a little bit of a temper, uh, like not that he's like a dirty player about it or anything, but uh, it's 
not always that hard to to make him upset uh, not that he's gonna retaliate with cross checks to the face or anything like that but and Malkin does kind of have a little bit of a character and or a temper I should say and <clears throat> for whatever reason Chris Neal was really 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 good to get under his skin so uh, he would get on Malkin's nerves a lot and it was always really fun so it's kind of sad that uh, Chris Neal is not going to be able to play that game because he could have annoyed Malkin quite a bit a night to remember for Doug Way to add four assists against the Florida Panthers. Pretty good. Sidney Crosby extends his goal streak to five games with a goal and an assist against Tampa Bay. Sidney Crosby extends his assist streak to ten games. All right, so he has a he has something going here. We're gonna need to stop him. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to, but we need to. Right, so we are now playing in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is pretty good right now. They are 10, 2, and 1, which is good for second in the East. Uh, Pittsburgh also have played a lot less games than a few other teams, like Atlanta and Toronto have played 18 games each right now, but Pittsburgh only played 13. All right, so we have not played Pittsburgh so far this year. Uh, Christian Heroff is not going to be playing that game. He is hurt. So Mark Andre Fleury in net, uh, Wade the Bill Wicks uh, in net as the backup. Andrew Ferenc, Galigaski, Brett Clark, Carly Scratchtons, Greg Zanon, Andrew Hutchinson, Chris Latang, Brooks Arpic, and Jeff Finger on the. <sighs> That D right now is not that great, but they do have a few decent, uh, like Gulligoski and Latang are still pretty young, so they need to develop. They have pretty good potential. Uh, Jagger, Sorovi, Morozov, Trudel, Christensen, Crosby, Malkin, Stahl, Snyder, Kostopoulos, Patrick Sharp, and Ryan Malone. Ryan Malone is also going to miss this game. He is, he is hurt. Which means that with that current lineup right now, they're going to play a, a D at forward. Unless they make modifications before the game. Alright, so they are pretty good. It's not going to be an easy game. Especially we're probably... No! We're keeping Ryan Miller in net. Oh my god, Alain Vigneault, you've been hearing me. My computer, it has tracking devices on it. The government is after me or something. I'm pretty boring too, so they really won't find anything except a bunch of let's play videos all right so ryan matter in net for us wade the bill wicks in net for pittsburgh see we won five nothing so we kept sydney crosby quiet and we got a shout out and we scored five goals i like that and we doubled them in shots too. So we had 40 shots and they had 20. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Pavel Datsyuk was the second star with two assists. And Joe Thornton was the third star with two assists as well. So Jason Spezza opened up the scoring in the first period. Uh, it was a stunt from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk. And then Mark Streit scored his fifth on the power play from Alexey Yashin. And then... Streit scored again on the power play from Martin Avlet and Jason Spezza. It was 3 0 after 1. Then Spezza scored in the second period on the power play from Alexey Yashin to make it 4 0. And then he completed his hat trick in the third period uh, from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk. And 5 0 was the final score. Take that, Crosby. <laughs> Sidney Crosby's assist streak and did had 10 games, so we did manage to contain him. Jason Spezza has a strong game, 3 goals and an assist. And Chris Neal back from suspension. Alright, and we don't have a whole lot of time to rest after or celebrate after that win because we are playing in Boston the very next night.
All right, so we are now playing in Boston. Uh, Boston is nine three and one this season, uh, and that's good for sixth in the East. We did play them uh, once this year, and we lost in overtime or the shootout. I don't quite remember. Uh, we got a point out of it. Now let's see if we can beat them. So first game was in Boston as well. Now let's see if we can win again uh, this time in Boston. Going back to Ryan Matter, why not? He had two shutouts in a row. And then Yevgeny Nabokov is going to be in net for the Bruins. And we won 3-1. to one. Uh, Wow. Now that doesn't happen often. We were actually outshot in that game 30-26. to 26. Joe Thornton was the first star. He had two assists. Uh, Oli Jokinen was the second star with an assist and Chris Kelly was a third star with a goal. Marian also opened up the scoring in the first period from Patrick Elias and Joe Thornton and it was 1-0 after 1. Then in the second period Chris Kelly scored from Joe Thornton and Patrick Eves and then Zdeno Oshara from Jason Spezza and Brooks like 3-0 after 2. And then Basson scored in the third period prevented Ryan Miller from getting a third shutout in a row and 3 to 1 is how we won this one. So, nice little game. Ooh, that's not good for Pittsburgh. Crosby is day to day with growing soreness. Should only be a few days, though. Suspension for Brad Lukowicz in Minnesota. He just got traded there, too, and he's going to miss five games. Great night for Alex Ovechkin, who had three goals and an assist against the Rangers. We're starting to see Ovechkin's name a whole lot more now. He's in the news a lot, as it should be. Right. All right, and we are back home, but only for one game real quick. Uh, we are going to host the Montreal Canadiens. So Montreal is eight and seven. That's good for 10th in the East. So they have a pretty decent lineup too. So they're struggling a little bit. Uh, we are one and one against Montreal so far this year. Uh, both games were in Montreal. Now we are playing at home against them. Let's see if we can beat them this time. It's going to be Carey Price in net, and we are going back to Brian Elliott despite Ryan Miller's three win uh, streak. <clears throat> and we lost in overtime, 3 to 2. Somebody needs to lighten up. All right, so we did outshoot Montreal 33 to 20. <coughs> ah. Whew, excuse me. All right, so we did outshoot Montreal 33 to 20. Thomas Placanitz was the first star of the game with a goal. Marianosa was the second star with an assist. And Andre Markov was the third star with an assist as well. So against our rivals, uh, we drew 18,818 people in attendance for that one. Montreal took a 2 0 lead into the first period, then Brooks like scored his first of the season from Patrick Elias and Marion Oso to make it 2 1. Uh, in the second period, Sheldon sorry, uh, tied the game from Pavel Datsuk and Zdeno Shara. It was tied at 2. Then it went in overtime. Nobody scored in overtime. Then it went into the shootout where, after a few rounds, Andre Markov scored the game winner. Right, Brian Muir and Dan Jensevsky are available. Not touching them. Kirk Mulby has arrived at a thousand games in his career. Didn't get a point, and that happened against Colorado. Uh, Kirk Mulby is now 33 years old and a three star player still. Oh, wow, he got to a thousand games pretty early. 33 years old is pretty young to get to a thousand games, so that means he started to play early and didn't get injured uh, quite a bit. 
Rob Blake has reached 500 assists in his career, so he got an assist against San Jose. Uh, Rob Blake, 36 years old, three-star player still. Ray Whitney extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against the Kings in that same game. And Rod Brennamore has reached 1,250 games played. That happened against Pittsburgh. Didn't get a point in that one. 36 years old, Rod Brennamore, three-star player. Uh, Ladislav Benisek is available, not gonna pick him up. Alright, so we are now going to be playing in Buffalo against the Sabres. Uh, we already played against them once this year and beat them 2-1. to one. So, quick two-game uh, road trip. So we're going to go in Buffalo and then in New Jersey afterwards. So let's see if we can beat the Sabres. Sabres right now are 7-8-2, which is good for 12th in the East. Back to Ryan Miller in net. That's more like it. Facing Tim Thomas. So Tim Thomas yet again trying to beat his former team. And we won 3-2. Uh, we outshot Buffalo 25 to 24. Did uh, I'm not sure what's going on. The shots are a lot more realistic, and it doesn't bother me. I like it better like that. But I wonder what is different because we have almost the same team, ex minus basically Matt Cullen. Anyway, so Jason Spezza was the first star of that game. He had two assists. Brian Campbell was the second star with an assist. And Mark Streit was the third star with an assist as well. Uh, Buffalo opened up the scoring in the first period. Then in the second period, Daniel Offertson scored from Mark Streit and Joe Thornton. It was tied at one. Uh, and then Marian Musa scored from Jason Spezza, made it 2-1, Sands. And then in the third period, Alexi Yashin scored on the power play from Brian McCabe and Jason Spezza, made it 3-1. Uh, Drew Stafford would score with 3.59 to go in the third period, and Buffalo was within one, but they could not get the tying goal, so 3-2 was the final score. All right, so Ray Whitney has racked up 900 points in his career with a goal and an assist against Colorado. A 34-year-old Ray Whitney, three-star player still, so still a pretty good player. And that was six straight games with a goal for him. All right, so Mike Camilleri in LA is not suspended. He is remaining in the lineup. And we are now going to be playing against the New Jersey Devils, which we've beat once so far this year. Um, New Jersey is 8-7-2. That's good for 11th in the East right now. So we are not really used to see New Jersey miss the playoffs. Now it's way early, so it's you know not really the time to be saying they're going to miss the playoffs for sure. Just stating the fact that right now they are outside of the playoff picture. And that has not been happening quite a bit. Now let's see, ah, we're going back to Ryan Miller for that game. He's going to play against Martin Brodeur. And we lost that game 3-2. I mean, Ryan Miller is really good, but he's not invincible. Uh, so we have outshot New Jersey 52-16 to in that game and managed to lose. Zach Parise was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Jason Spezza was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Martin Brodeur was the third star with 50 saves. New Jersey scored first in that game. It was in the second period. Then Jason Spezza scored from Brian McCabe. 1-1 after two. Then, oh, 
New Jersey scored two quick goals within the first minute of the third period to take a 3-1 lead. Uh, shortly after, Yashin scored on the power play from Martin Avlat and Jason Spezza, but we were never able to tie the game, so we ended up with a loss. And we are now back home and we are going to be playing against Buffalo again. We just played them a few games ago. Uh, we are 2-0 against Buffalo and now they have slid to 7-10-2, which is good for 14th in the East. And as usual, Florida is dead last. The Florida has had a lot of problems in this uh, playthrough. Tim Thomas is going to be in net for Buffalo, and Brian Elliott is going to be in net for the Suns. And we won that one 6-1. Good job. We outshot Buffalo 37-14. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game with two goals and three assists. Pretty good game. Chris Kelly was the second star with three assists, and Daniel Alfredson was the third star with a goal. 16,211 people in attendance for us in that game. So in the first period, Sheldon Sorry opened up the scoring from Jason Spezza and Pavel Datsyuk. It was 1-0 after 1. Then in the second period, uh, Jason Spezza scored on the power play from Chris Kelly and Alexey Yashin. Then Spezza scored again, and that was his 15th from Chris Kelly and Joe Thornton. 3-0. Then Buffalo scored, so it was 3-1 after 2. And then we would score 3 more goals in the third period. Brian McCabe from Anton Volchenkov and Marion Osa. Daniel Alfredson from Chris Kelly and Jason Spezza. And Anton Volchenkov from Patrick Elias and Jason Spezza again. And a nice 6-1 victory. Sabres may make coaching change. The considering silence from Buffalo management on the subject of coach Paul Morris's future is fueling rumors. So yeah, Buffalo, is a, we just saw their record. Uh, Paul Morris uh, might lose his job in Buffalo. Brian Leach has recorded 1,250 games played in the NHL. Did that against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And he got an assist in the game to celebrate that. So Brian Leach, 38 years old, still a two and a half star defenseman, so still pretty competent, pretty good. All right, and next game is at home before hitting the road for a long road trip again. One, two, three, four. So we've played on the road a lot in November. But first, we have a game at home against the Minnesota Wild. Excellent passing leads to productive night for Vincent Le Cavalier, who had four assists against the Rangers. Pretty good game. And in that same game, Brad Richards had a hat trick, three goals. <clears throat> Alright, so now we are about to play against the Minnesota Wild. So, Minnesota is doing alright. They are 9 7 and 3. That's not world beaters, but that's a winning record. Well, by NHL standards, technically it's 9 wins and 10 losses. But by NHL standards, that would be a winning record, considered a winning record. Uh, let's see here. So. Keith Primo's not going to play that game. He's hurt, 34 years old. Brad Lukowicz is still suspended. So in net, they have Nicholas Backstrom and Jose Theodore. So that's pretty good goaltending right there. Nick Schultz, Mike Ratchy, Lawrence Nicholas, Brent Burns, Zbynik Michalik, Derek Walser, Brad Lukowicz, and Jason York on D. Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag. There's a few decent defensemen and a few not so much. Mike Greer, Tyler Arneson, Keith Primo, Ian Bulish, Bob Ren, Matt Cullen, Chris Drury, Matthew Lombardi, Mike Comrie, Tyler Wright, Josef Vezicek, Mar Marian Gaborik, and Pierre-Marc Bouchard. Uh, there's a few O's in that lineup. Solid goaltending, couple decent forwards, couple decent defensemen. 
we should be able to beat them maybe Brian Elliott in net for the Suns Nicholas Backstrom in net for the Wild and we won for nothing all right we'll take it so we outshot Minnesota 43 to 9 in that game Martin Avlet was the first star of the game he had a goal and two assists Joe Thornton was the second star with two assists and Mark Streit was the third star with two assists as well 15,159 people in attendance for this game. Zeden Oshar opened up the scoring in the first period. Uh, it was his fifth on the power play from Martin Avlet and Mark Streit. It was 1-0 Sands after one. Then... In the second period, Martin Avlet scored from Joe Thornton and then Jason Spezza on the power play from Martin Avlet and Mark Streit. 3 nothing after two. And finally, in the third period, Daniel Alfredson scored his fifth on the power play from Mike Fisher and Joe Thornton. 4 nothing is the final score. And after this game, Brad Lukowicz is back in the lineup after serving his suspension. Alright, so we are about to hit the road. That's going to start in Philadelphia. We are literally playing every other game, every other day. Uh, until the end of the month so we have five games left in November <clears throat> and that's gonna start in Philly against the Flyers memorable memorable night for Jordan Stahl in Pittsburgh he had four assists against the Flyers All right, and now we are playing in Philadelphia, like I just said. So, <clears throat> Philadelphia struggling a little bit. They are 10-10-1. That's good for ninth in the East. Now, we have not played the Flyers so far this year. We do know they don't have Eric Lindros anymore because we saw him. Oh, so there's uh, quite a few injuries in Philadelphia right now. So, Curtis Foster is hurt, Yaroslav Modry is hurt, and Daniel Zubrus is hurt. So, those three players are not going to be playing this game. So, the lineup might seem a little bit depleted, especially on D, and it does. Alright, so... Jeremy Duchesne in net for Philadelphia with Curtis Joseph. So Cujo is 39 years old and he's only a one-star player anymore. So just like real life, goaltending seems to be an issue in Philadelphia. Uh, Nate Gannon, Marcus Reinerson, Thomas, Thomas Puck. Uh, that would be Richie Regeer because I have Robin Regeer. So Richie Regeer. Eric Weinrich and Tom Pricing on the this that, that D is not good. Um, granted, they have a couple injuries. Modry is probably a pretty decent defenseman, but when Eric Weinrich, when 39 year old Eric Weinrich is your IS rated defenseman, you're you're in trouble. Uh, Mike Richards, Justin Williams, Simon Gagne, Matt Cook, Martin St. Louis, Rod Brennamore, Jeff Carter, Darcy Tucker, Jeff Paul, that was Jeff Paul, right, his name? John Paul, sorry. Uh, Paul Gostad, Curtis Fraser, I believe that would be. Colin Fraser, there was a Curtis Fraser as well. Uh, Valerie Bure, Claude Giroux, Yubisek, and Mark Recky. So the forwards, as usual, in Philadelphia are pretty scary. So that's been kind of a... <coughs> kind of a thematic for the Flyers in my save is that they typically have a pretty good uh, offense so we're gonna have to see if we can outgun them <coughs> My apologies, my voice is weird this morning. <coughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. I hope I'm not catching a cold or something. Alright, so we have Brian Elliott in that. They have Jeremy Duchesne. And we lost 2 to 1. <coughs> we outshot them 38 to 27. Robin Regeer was the. No, Richie Regeer, sorry. Kind of 
misleading. So Richie Regeer of Philadelphia was the first star. He had an assist. Daniel Alfredson was the second star with an assist. And Duchesne was the third star with 37 saves. Mike Fisher opened up the scoring in the first period. Uh, it was his fifth from Pavel Datsyuk and Daniel Alfredson. So it was one nothing after one. But then Brian Elliott allowed two goals in the third period and we ended up losing 2-1. Matt Sundin has played in 1,250 games in his career, so he didn't. Uh, he got he got a goal that happened against Anaheim. A 35 years old, two-star player, Matt Sundin. So, kind of slowing down there. Former Ottawa Senator Ladislav Nigi has a strong game. He had a hat trick against the Stars. Oh, that's not good for Detroit. Now, we have already seen that Detroit uh, was kind of struggling uncharacteristically for this season. And now Curry Sillman uh, has a torn elbow ligament and he's going to be out for four months. Memorable game for Zach Parisi in uh, New Jersey. He had five assists against Phoenix. Pretty good game. Right now our road trip is going to take us over to the to Sunrise to play against the Florida Panthers. <clears throat> right, so I already I already alluded to that a little bit earlier. Uh, Florida is struggling again this season. They are dead last in the East with a 6-16 and 1 record. Let's see if uh, Let's see how bad their lineup is. So they have one injury, so Matt Molson is not going to be playing in this game. He is hurt. So in net, it's Roman Turek and Jason LaBarbera. So not that great. Uh, on DJ Boomy Star is pretty solid, but after that, it's uh, a little more difficult for them. Uh, they have Ken Klee, Denis Gauthier, uh, Kim, uh, Kenny Janssen. Uh, who's now 32 and only an alpha star player, Rob Scuderi and Darius Kasparaitis. So, yeah, that D is struggling a little bit. Uh, Quinton Lang, Nathan Orton, Matt Molson, Tuoko Samsonov, Hilbert, Campbell, Kessler, Connolly, Paye, Meline, Stewart, Johnson, Uselius, and Mark Parrish. Yeah, it's a little difficult in Florida. Not a whole lot of talent there. Or I should say, not a whole lot of top talent. So we're going back to Ryan Miller. Uh, he's going to be facing Jason LaBarbera. And we lost 2-1 to one against the worst team in the East. So we are struggling, and it's not all on the goaltenders. I think we are struggling with tactics, with coaching, with utilizing players efficiently. Um, and I cannot fire uh, Alain Vigneault. Eugene Melnick doesn't want me to. So that's going to happen in the offseason. I don't know who I'm going to grab yet. Um, so we... Uh, the shots were tied, 32 apiece. And that one, Christian Uselius was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Zden Oshara was the second star with a goal. And Ryan Kessler was the third star with a goal. So Florida opened up the scoring in the first period. It was one nothing at that point. And then in the second period, Ryan Kessler scored, made it 2 nothing. In the third period, midway into the third, Zden Oshara scored from Joe Thornton, made it 2-1, but we were never able to beat La Barbera again, and we lost 2-1. Patrick Eves is injured, and he is now day-to-day. -day. He has a knee contu contusion, and he should be out for 12 days. Oh, yeah, that's probably something that I'm going to put him... Yeah, I'm going to put him on the injured reserve. And let's see who we're calling back up. Who's having a good season in Binghamton so far? Alright, so I learned uh, yesterday that uh, Drazinovic is Croatian. Or of Croatian de descent, I should say. So, yes, 10 points in 16 games. That's actually not bad. Colin Greening has 11 in 18, Wick 9 points, Michael Ryder has 8 points, Matt Stajan has 17, Peter Regan has 14, 
14 points for Klippish as well. Nikolin has 11. Kegorodov 13. Vichy 11. Ryan Callahan 6. Kondra 9. And Radulov 11. So Stajan is pretty much the best player right now in the minors. He's basic, practically a point per game. So Matt Stajan gets the call up. All right, so we are about to play in Tampa Bay. Oh, <clears throat> so the Sabres decided to fire Paul Maurice. So with a 8, 13 and 2 record, Paul Maurice lost his job. And he's going to be replaced by Tony Granato. Oh, interesting. Suspension over for Alexis Zamnov. He is back in the lineup in Phoenix. I, unless I'm mistaken, I think he had an 11-game suspension or something. That's crazy long. Uh, suspension for Columbus. Stefan Rabida is going to miss eight games. That's long, too. All right, and Matt Stajan wants a number. You can have 18, although I'd rather Marianosa have 18, because that's the number he had in Ottawa. But that's okay, I suppose. Alright, so that takes care of that. I don't know if he's going to play or if uh, he's going to be benched. Trevor Latowski is available on waivers. Suspension for Columbus, Eric Bogunicki. He's gonna, gonna miss a game, so a couple of suspensions over there in Columbus right now. Bill Guerin, former Ottawa Senator. Bill Guerin played in his thousandth game and he got an assist that was against the Wild. So 36 years old, Bill Guerin, two and a half star players. So so he, he could still be useful if he were with us. So. No stopping Chuck Cabasu in Calgary. He had a hat trick against the Kings. No further action needed for Washington's Marty Yarventi, who is not suspended. Wow, so Marty Yarventi is having a, an actual NHL career. If I remember correctly, he played only one game in the NHL, he was a Montreal pick. Now my memory might be fuzzy. I believe he only played one game in the NHL. So in my sim, he's played some and got some points and he has a regular turn in Washington. All right, now we are about to play in Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay struggling a little bit. They are 10, 12 and one. That's good for 13 in the East. Now let's take a look at their lineup here. So Francis Bouillon is injured with a fractured wrist. So he's not gonna be playing this game. In net, it's Alex Old and Ko Koshechkin. Uh, so that right now that's not that great for the goaltenders there. Palmara Rejiru. Uh, Pavel Kubina, Ossov Vananen, Paul Ranger, uh, Marc-Andre Bergeron, Bryce Salvador, and Kurt Sauer. A little difficult on D as well. Sergio Main, Benoit Brunet. Wow, he's still playing 38 years old. Only an alpha star player now. Uh, Mats Lindgren, Mikhail Oranta, Mark Schwinnard, Damon Lenko, Nick Tarnaski, Eric Perrin, Vincent Cavalier, Kevin Adams. Uh, that's probably Trent Hunter. Brad Richards and Kerry Tonov. Yeah, if you take Richards and the Cavalier out, there's really not a whole lot left in uh, Tampa Bay, so they run the show. So I'm pretty sure that Tampa Bay goes as those two guys go. Alright, so Brian Elliott is going to be a net for the Suns. Alex Old is going to be a net for Tampa Bay. And we won 5-3. All right, so we outshot Tampa Bay 56 to 22. Patrick Elias was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Vincent Le Cavalier was the second star with a goal and two assists, and Chris Kelly was a third star with an assist. So we open up the scoring in the first with Jason Spezza scoring from Marion Osa, 
but then Tampa Bay scored twice, so it was 2 1 Tampa Bay after one. Then in the second period, Jason Spezza scored on the power play from Zdeno Osher and Joe Thornton, tied the game at two. Then Brooks like scored from Joe Thornton, it was three to two. Tampa Bay tied the game again again uh, and it was tied at three but then Daniel Alfredson scored on the power play from Patrick Elias and Chris Kelly it was four to three after two and then in the third period Patrick Elias scored from Brian McCabe it was five to three and that was our final score and Matt Stajan did play in this game he didn't play a lot but he did play he played five minutes and 55 seconds Ooh, Adam Denmarsh is available on waivers. He's only an alpha star now. And then Dwayne Zinger. All right, and now we are going to be playing the Hurricanes. So we did play the Hurricanes earlier this month. Uh, that was at home and we had lost one nothing in that shootout so now we are going to play them in Carolina so at the moment Carolina is 12 11 and 2 and that's good for 10th in the east let's see if we can beat them this time Ryan Miller in net for the Suns Cam Ward in net for the Hurricanes and we lost to the one not good so we're struggling a little bit this year I mean, not struggling like we're not going to make the playoffs. We're not at that point yet, but uh, we have already uh, more losses than we did all season last year. So, a little bit more difficult. So, we did outshoot Carolina 42-17, to and Drew Ladd was the first star of the game. He had an assist. Chris Neal was the second star with a goal, and Cam Ward, 41 saves, and the third star. So Carolina scored first in the first period, and then Chris Neal tied the game from Brooks Lake and Joe Thornton. It was tied at one. Brian Allen scored in the second period, uh, make, made it 2-1, to one, and he didn't know it at that point, but that was a game winner because nobody else scored. Uh, suspension over for Eric Bogunicki with Columbus back in the lineup. Right, and then the, we have one more game to play in November and we are back at home to play the Panthers all right so we have a trade proposal from the Tampa Bay Lightning so we just looked at their lineup there's not a whole lot I'm interested in in there and I really doubt that they're offering me Brad Richards or Vincent Cavalier we'll still take a look though so they're offering me Mark Schwinard for Tim Gleason. Yeah, not gonna happen. No. I said no. Alright, so we have one more game in November. It's against Florida. Uh, they are last in the East, so 7 18 and 1. But they did beat us a few days ago. Uh, back in Florida, they beat us 2-1. to one. Let's see, now that we're back on home ice, let's see if we can win that one. So Jason the Barbaro is going to be in net for Florida. Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us. And we won 2-1 to one in overtime. So yeah, it's a little bit tougher in Ottawa this year. Uh, we outshot Florida 38-21 to 21 in that one. Daniel Alfredson was the first star. He had a goal. Jason the Barbaro, despite the loss, uh, was the second star with 37 saves and Mark Parrish was the third star with a goal 15,530 people in attendance for that one uh, so Florida scored first that was in the second period and then Daniel Alfredson tied the game in the third from Mark Strait and Marianosa it was tied at one that went in overtime Nobody scored in overtime, and then in the shootout, uh, we had goals from Spezza and Alfredson, and we won. At the we won that game two to one. 
And Ken Klee uh, was not suspended for his illegal check to the head that I've seen uh, that he got a uh, game misconduct for in the first period. So, Ken Klee is allowed to uh, go head hunting apparently. Alright, and we are going to click the continue button once so that we are on December 1st. There we go. No further punishment for Chris Kunitz in Anaheim. No suspension for him. And then the players of the month were uh, Yaromir Jagger in Pittsburgh and Ilya Brzgalov in Anaheim. Alright, so uh, we end November 4th in the East uh, with 33 points. Toronto is first in our division. They have two more points than us, but we have a game on on, so that we might be able to change our fortunes a little bit. Um, it's really weird to not see us first in the East because that's that, that was our spot for a while. Now in the west we have Anaheim first, then Nashville, Colorado, St. Louis, LA, Dallas, Columbus and San Jose. So Detroit have turned things around a little bit. They had a losing record in October now they've turned things around a little bit. Uh, but they're still ninth uh, in the east. So if it was to start right now they wouldn't be in the playoffs. And the worst team in the league is actually the Vancouver Canucks. A little bit surprising. Uh, with the Sedin twins in there. So I'm not sure. Maybe they have really bad D or something. Alright, so that that's the line uh, the standings. <coughs> So now for points, uh, Jason Spezza, as usual, is well above a point per game. So he's 34 and 26. Joe Thornton has only one goal, but he has 24 assists to go with that. So he's basically a point per game at 20, with 25 and 26. Yashin is 19 and in 21. And then uh, Stride 17 and 24, and then it dwindles down from there. And there's a uh, quite a few players that have very disappointing seasons. I'm looking at Pavel that took nine points in 26 games. That's not nearly good enough. Shara slowed down nine and 26 as well. Um, definitely, we can do better than that uh, with those guys. They're gonna need to start playing better. Even Brian McCabe 11 and 26. So. We have a few, a few players that are definitely not producing as much as they have used us to in the past. That being said, the best goal scorer in the league right now is Denny Eatley with 21 goals. And the best passer is Yarmir Jagger with 21, 28 assists. And Jagger is the best scorer with 44 points. Our best player is Jason Spezza. He's fifth with 34 points in so 10 points back on Jagger. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and save the game. Now, if you are one of my regular uh, viewers that, tend, that tends to watch my videos pretty much as soon as they are released, um, I am actually going to be doing another Hockey video later today, so that's going to be two uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 6 videos in one day. So that should be plenty of content to watch. Uh, obviously I roll the games I play randomly, it's kind of my thing, so there's no telling when I'm going to be playing this again, but uh, I rolled it twice for today. So. Uh, expect another video later but for now i do want to thank you for tuning in and if you've liked the video feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you